In this video, we'll discuss how to add a JavaScript code to the model driven application. And also we'll see what exactly the web resource in the model driven application. And uh, we'll add this JavaScript code to a command bar button. And when user hits that button and how to call the JavaScript in the backend, we'll discuss in this video. So for that, I'm going to the solution. In this solution, we have all these apps and we have this table, sitemaps, everything we have. Now I'm trying to add a web resource to this solution. So for that, we have to go to this new option. And here we have more. And at that, we can able to see option name called as web resource. And when we click that, it shows a window here. And it is saying about the new web resource. And we can able to upload from our local system. So for that, when we click this choose file, it will open a browser window and select and this is a js file which i created i'm not written any code in this but uh, only a uh, simple js which i added inside this one so when you click this one we can able to select it and here the display name is this is a web resource code so i can give some cms js and uh, this is the name that is a display name i'm simply giving cms js and uh, the type is JavaScript. So we have a couple of other also in the web resource. If you want to add CSS, RxSSL, RHTML file, XML, and RESX file, and also we can able to upload the images. These are the supported formats in the web resource of the model driven application. So if we go to the advanced option and it only have the language, but uh, we no need to select this one because we only have an English option. When I click save, this web resource will add into this solution now so once we add web resource another another tab also added here which is a web resource and we added a code file we have the data file and image files so total three different type of web resources we have in the model driven which is one is code another one is data another one is images if you go to the code you can able to see the file here See here when you click this eclipses and we also have an option when you click this edit and we do have an edit in classic if I hit this edit it will open a window here but we cannot able to see the code here you can only able to see the URL and the other options just before we discussed but if you click this eclipse and if you go to edit in classic mode we also get the editor for the code as well now here the same options you can able to see name display name description and here we have a content and we have language and you can able to choose a file from here and the url but we we do have another option here text editor so when you click this text editor you can able to see the code here so in this i, I only written js so that's why it is only showing that and uh, here before uh, you know before writing the code what I'll do is first I'll go back to the application we'll click this application and uh, here uh, we have added few things but uh, we'll try to edit this one and I'm clicking edit in new tab so now it is open now if, if you want to edit the form or if you want to add a command bar you can able to add from here so when you click this eclipses you can see edit command bar now i am going uh, to add a command bar so when i click this edit i can see this window and i'm choosing this main grid now click edit so here I, I just want to show an alert message when user hits any of the button so for that i'm creating a one command button here so i'm giving a name as alert message and uh, the icon is optional or if you want to use any any of the icon you can able to use otherwise you can skip this one and here we have an action called run formula uh, i'll change this to javascript and here in the visibility also i'll sh i'll show with a um, condition and here the function name it is asking because you know it is it is taking from this existing library but no i don't want to use this one i want to add a library so here uh, we have uploaded some contract
we have uploaded one contract uh, JS file into our solution. So, which is CMS JS. This is the one, and I'm selecting. Click add. Now, so before saving this one, we need to write the code for this one. So then only we can able to write the function name, and then we can pass the parameters. Now in the text editor, I'm writing this function removing this one i'm writing a function name called alert message so this is a function i'm writing so inside this i'm simply writing alert this button is clicked and this is rendering from web resource So that's it very simple code i have written with the alert box when user hits this alert command bar then i want to pop up this message we are done with this one and come back here the function name which is asking i just copied the function name and i'm passing here i'm not passing any parameters into it i'm just keeping empty then we'll save and publish this one and this one also need to publish and before publish we need to save it and then we have to publish so once you save and publish only the changes which you did here in the classic editor will reflect on it if you go to here the code will shows in this text editor now we don't have any issues here click OK and then try to play this one so now the new version of this app is available because uh, we just published it the changes are once the changes reflected into play mode we can able to see the output so now we have this uh, uh, button in the command bar so when we hit this one I'm expecting this alert message this button is clicked and this is rendering from the web resource so this way you can able to write a javascript code on the button hit so we, we just tried on this and uh, this code will be helpful in more places that also will discuss in the upcoming videos so if you want to modify anything on this web resource you can come back and you can always change from here so if you hit that one if you want to change this message or if you want to add any any other code here you can able to add so this way we can able to call the javascript code into a model driven application